three two one what's up y'all and welcome back to another episode of our interpretation, interpretation. with the controls with the controls <laughs> find that button one day hold on before we get started i just gotta say this i forgot we were recording this like with our faces because i was like usually i don't know when to come in but now it's live so now i actually gotta look like i know what i'm yeah, doing you got to now you yeah. wanted a visual you got a visual now you have to <laughs> interpret yourself visually to a point where people know that you know what you're doing was that the right word i don't really know yeah, i don't think so yeah I went but anyways we back y'all we are back we have been away. It was a lot going on still before this actual broadcasting or taping, filming. Yeah, filming. It was a lot going on. So that's why we've been kind of yes. pushed back. So we just decided that we're just going to revamp. Revamp. And we're going to go into a season two. We don't even know where season one left off. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> we don't know. Whatever y'all got from season one, oh y'all got gosh. from it. All right. Now we're on season two and you getting visuals. Life has been lifing, but it's definitely been lifing. At least we're doing visuals now, so <laughs> I'm super excited about that. Oh, uh, before we get into this, wait, huh? Before we get into this episode, I know y'all want to see what's on my foot, and today we're going with the Jordan ones. Okay, look Ooh, at the cool. babies. I don't care for Jordan ones. So I don't like to lace them up. But one day I'm gonna let some look. But that's just what it is for today. Yeah, I know she like her sneakers, so get into sneaker it. Sneaker cam. Okay, come All on, right. sneaker cam. We're gonna start <laughs> showing them a sneaker. I'm gonna bring out my sneakers next. Only more episodes of sneakers. <laughs> All right. Anyways. I mean, if y'all wanna know who hooked this up, because I'm not getting on this camera without being um, slayed, okay? Um, we got Malik J on the blocks. And Mike the Barber at North Lake Mall in Charlotte hooked me up, blending my whole little widow's peak in. Yeah, <laughs> they slayed you. She's so excited. Yeah, I am. Cause when I she was go like from rug. looking raggedy from to looking like this, she be so excited, y'all. Glad you said She this. gives us all. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you adored me on the dish. You could put a little more emphasis on it. Cause I don't like the way you said raggedy. Oh, okay. Uh... When she goes from looking not like this, huh? When she goes from not looking decent <laughs> to now looking like this, she really be feeling herself. I do. I be in the mirror in Real my bad. phone. I be taking a lot of selfies. All my selfies are from the last time I got my hair done. None in between. Yeah. None in between. You also need to work on your whispering because you was whispering so much from Neil that I couldn't hear you. <laughs> so I had to ask three times. You just wasn't listening. You were talking about, ah, I'm tired of you acting like you can't hear today. And I then, didn't say that. <laughs> but I was literally taking a shower and she was in the closet and I was like, huh? And she was like, <laughs> she stormed out the bathroom. No, that was like her fourth time today, y'all. Like, but to talk to huh? huh? No, it was huh? It was the fourth time that I was in the bathroom and she was in another room and the water was running. No. <laughs> the first three times I was in the bathroom and the water was running. The I shower, thought you were downstairs. No, the shower water something. was running. Okay, well, let's just get on today's topic. All right. We'll yeah, discuss we that went later. too far in today. Yeah, sorry. There's a lot going on. All right, y'all. So, we're going to catch y'all up. And then I want us to talk about... Something you know that we caught up. Oh, for real? Yeah, Did we catch it up? You you want to go in more? I said we're gonna what? what do you mean? We just been away. How was that a catch up? Okay. Don't y'all want to know what's been going on? That's gonna take the episode. It's been a lot going on. You think so? Well, if it does, then we'll save um, what we want to talk about for later. But listen. I might throw you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> what have we been doing? Well, Bay's been working a lot. Lot. Nothing new, a apparently. Lot. Um, she's been working a lot, and then I guess um, I don't know if you call it trying to find yourself, or she's been like, is it? Would you say trying to find yourself, or having self care days? Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I don't know if it's trying to find yourself. I don't know, but anyway, she's been yeah. um, having her new avenues. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, self care days. Um, I have been just hmm, <laughs> trying to figure out what. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out life, okay? Cause listen, cause life be life. 
It really life does. Life be life in. It really does. And I don't know yet if I have a good, um, I think I talked about this before and I still ain't figured it out. So it's been like two months. If I have a good self care routine or not, but whatever. So I've still been working on my business, of course. Um, pros and cons to it, of course. Has it still been stressing me out? Of course. Yeah. Still trying to figure out the whole um, entrepreneur thing. Yeah. Plus balancing, having um, multiple streams of income. Yeah. And a life multiple. at home. Still trying to be a good auntie. All that good stuff. A sister. Well, it, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. She got a lot of relationships. Like friendships, family ships, sister ships, like dog ships. Like she has a lot of relationships to maintain. That's a lot. That listen, it, two is overboard. Like oh my gosh. it doesn't matter. I keep up with two people. But I also have a lot of siblings too, so that's that. I know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like and I only got one. And well I got yeah, technically one and we talk maybe like once every other month. I mean that's But you and your sister, y'all talk like almost every day. Yeah, like, we do talk every you day. You and your brother if your brother was on the grid, y'all probably talk more often. That is true. And he's so off the grid. One of my brothers, yeah. yes. Yeah. He got a tree house. Yeah, bless he his heart. He even he's like um, the Donny of the Thornberries, like <laughs> he out there. He he sent us a picture the other day of my nephew, y'all, and so my brother's not really big on technology. He he had his finger in the camera while taking the photo of my nephew. I said, Did he? I yes. didn't see that. <laughs> Why did you analyze that? Let that yes. man have his moment. Be glad you got picture mail. Yeah. Listen, I, you know what? My brother didn't send it in the mail for real. That is true. <laughs> so I am going to take that. But I'm just letting y'all yeah. know. One of my brothers is oh, like that. My boy. All of my brothers are so different. But nevertheless, I do like to stay in contact with my Family and friends, most of my friends will definitely say that, like, I'm the one that try to bring people t together. It's just me. But I like keeping up, you know, knowing what's going on in people's lives. Like, why not? I don't want you to pass away and ain't know what the heck was going on. I was going to cuss. Yeah. What the heck was going on. But, yeah, so that's just been me still trying to figure out life at the tender age of 32. But, um. I feel like I could draw away. So if anything ever happens, like, in life, I won't be so, like, affected. Like, and that's probably why I don't have enough, like, I can't say I don't have enough, but like I don't reach out and cling on to a lot of people to have like friendship. No, I forgot. I forgot to text that girl back that I sent you that information about. No, but Four also, oh yeah, I could see that for you though. By the way, yeah. yeah. So I just don't know how we would actually handle if you ever like really lost. Anybody. I don't know how. I never saw it, so I don't know how to handle. We've been uh, together almost five years. Yeah. Well, I think I kind of do. Like the same, cause you know I, I lost a good friend before, of course, and then my grandma and stuff. But I'm different yeah, about that. Around. Remember, I always say that though. I'm very, very different when it comes to death. Like I don't react probably the same way someone else will. Mm. Like I'll have like my emotional moment, but also I have a thing where I just don't like crying in front of people like that. But um, I'll have like my day or two of being emotional. But I typically won't cry. I like the funeral, and I don't like people asking me a bunch of questions about it either so i'm i'm weird like i'm mm. really weird well, yeah and yeah, we way off at the top of the i know started. sorry y'all know that do we just deep. be having good conversation yeah yeah, yeah. i was into that one sometimes <laughs> i'll be like out of there but i make eye contact and i want you to think that i'm still engaged this stuff that i deal with all right y'all so listen we're gonna hit this subject real quick all right so y'all know i love my reality tv shows nothing new we already know so I was watching Real Housewives. Real Right. I was thinking it. <laughs> I was watching Real Housewives of Atlanta and um, love it. I don't know if that's my favorite Housewife um, franchise, though. I like. I was Andre. Glad you got me. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Glad you snatched me there. Better half. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so I really like the Real Housewives of New Jersey. And the Real Housewives of Orange County. I only watch Atlanta. I only watch Atlanta of You're everything. So black. You know? I, I mean, <laughs> so black. But the other ones, like if you're watching it, like I can watch it and probably tell you the names of them. I'll be do, like, what? Yeah. What she done done to Jen? Like, that's what true. Jen done done? Like I can. But that's the same way I guess I am with Sweet Six. Or what you watch? Sixteen and pregnant. You have to tell my business. <laughs> That's what's on the wrong show. Really? Yeah, it's, 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 
Yeah, mom, mom and pregnant or something like that. Teen mom, pregnant. Teen mom. But hey, that's not what we're talking about today at all. Okay, we're not talking about Bro, that. What was we talking about? I just forgot. Real housewives. Real housewives. Yeah, I'm but my business. My bad. I didn't know it was a secret. But like, I don't watch the real, real ratchet ones that you be watching. Some of them be too ratchet, and I'll be like, I cannot watch this. I don't even watch like. And the you real ain't ratchet about that life. Like, I'm, I pretty much come from that life. Like I'm, I lived a pretty ratchet life. What about you going going? through experience or what they call it? <laughs> you living through them, like because your name and then like you really go. Yeah, I don't like that you said that about me. I'm just, I'm just throwing observations out there. I'm not catching it. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> but nevertheless, all right. So there was a episode slash a scene where oh my gosh. I wish I could remember the girl's Sonia. name. I think it's Son Sonia. Thank you. Sonia. I hope that's her name. Get me right, babe. Where Sonia, um, she was having a disagreement with one of the girls in the group. I think it was two of them, Cynthia and uh, Sheree. So anyway, she's having a disagreement. They're at a nice dinner, right? She's the one that is hosting this trip slash dinner, right? Sonia is. Well, the girls, y'all know how they do. They start going back and forth, um, coming at her all kind of crazy after she don't work the long day, okay? Because this was a work trip slash fun trip for her, right? So they're coming at her, and her husband is sitting right there, and her husband is falling. If y'all have not seen that season slash episode, get into it, because that is a handsome dark chocolate, okay? I thought you were about to call him a doctor. No, I mean, he yeah, could he, be. He could be a doctor. He could, he could be my old man. You know what I'm saying? saying? I, well... <laughs> You say you don't like men down there. I don't know. I don't know, know. Who's you, I, am. I don't right? know if I want him. You say men down there. I don't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but, all right. Staying on topic here, right? So, anyways, um, so yeah, so they came at her. So the husband hopped in, like stood up, okay. And y'all know I'm getting excited because I was feeling this. Like I, I was here for the mojo stuff. But anyway, he stood up and was like, "Y'all ain't gonna come at my wife like that." I don't think that was right. No, nah, it was right. It was right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But the way that he said it. To others, it may seem like aggressive. It was the one who and he had a cuss word. He, he did have a cuss word in there. I can't remember exactly what he said, but nevertheless, that's like the basis of it, right? Yeah. So people had something to say about him standing up uh, for his wife or at least hopping into female drama really is what they want to say, right? Mm -hmm. So then I was talking to babe and I'm like, yo, like, I'm not always here for men going back and forth with females. However, comma. Right, I'm just like at the end of the day, if somebody is coming at me, granted I can hold my own, okay. But if somebody is coming at me, like I would want my significant other to hop up in that thing. Like, let these people know, especially if it's more than one person. If it's more than one person coming at me, okay, then yeah, don't. What you doing sitting there smiling? Like, what you doing? Maybe I like drama, and it turns me on. Okay, but it's sh true. Sh after <laughs> listen. After about five, ten minutes, I'm gonna need you to say something. Five, right, ten minutes. <laughs> okay. Wait. Don't <laughs> argue for that long. Y'all cannot be friends. I'm about to air out everything about each other. Baby, okay. Long. Okay. No, uh uh. But yeah, I, now that I know how you would want me to react, I got you. But why would you not react that way? Because sometimes you'd be like, uh uh, babe. No, I got this. <laughs> I do. I do do that. I do. <laughs> It'll be her be mine. She's like, uh. <laughs> I'm like, dang, man. I could have, yeah. So <laughs> that's funny. But that's also because I'm one of those people that, like, if you, if I feel like you're hurting the feelings of somebody that I love, you know what I'm saying? And that doesn't have to be a relationship. That could be friends, whoever. But if, especially if I know, like, they're not really going to speak up yet, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or if I feel like, nah, what you said back to was a little too delicate. Like, F that. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, like, mm -mm. I'm coming. Go zero to eight hundred, though. Like, we can stop on the way. We can like make a couple, you know, like fuel breaks, stop mm -mm. along the way, and be like, okay, so now you still not getting what I'm saying. So then you take another trip, right? We can't do that. And if they still not, man, like, I don't get nobody three strikes, like, but they could have two. Okay, this is what I will say. I think it depends on who you're talking to in that moment that you could do all those right. stops. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Oh, okay, I got you. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I think it depends on who you talking to. Yeah. Okay. Because some people, so if it's like maybe like an elder, then maybe I just need to, you know. But sometimes elders don't need a pump break. I was just gonna yeah. say that, girl. Again, you gotta know yeah. who you're talking to because there's some elders, car, baby, with a with an everlasting battery. They would keep throwing it up yeah. at you. And okay. Uh, mm -mm. Yeah. No. Nope. I, I mean, I get it. Yeah. We're not taking a call, sweetie, because you ain't gonna keep coming for me. That makes sense. Yeah. And see, that leads me to something else. No, because when you talk about like the the elderly stuff, mm -hmm. right, and how they can come at you. I feel as though, like when we were younger or years back yeah. in the black community, it was, you know, you respect your elders, you don't talk back to them. They can say whatever they want to say to you, but you don't, you don't say anything back, right? You can't even disagree. Yeah. Because if you disagree, it's disrespectful. That's like the military. When we tell you what to do, you do it. Yeah. But you don't know. Like, I don't believe in morally, it. Morally, like you don't even know if you're supposed to be doing what you feel like ethically ethically you're not supposed to be doing whatever you had today don't do it again <laughs> that was a tongue twister i don't know what you're talking about but i'm gonna talk about the words you get twisted off of. well what we're not talking about me syllables. we're not talking about me today okay we're you talking about the elderly the <laughs> <laughs> but you asked me for my opinion and we wasn't i mean we was but we wasn't we wasn't talking about elders that wasn't a topic of discussion no but i did want to touch on that but but would you stand up for me like if I was talking to an elder, like if I felt like I wanted you to be there to stand up for me, and it was two elders talking to me, and you know it was crazy, are you standing up or are you just giving me that nudge like you can go off now? Ooh, that's a good question. So, ooh, that's a good question. Okay. Ooh, that's good. I know. Okay, so listen. You, you sure you don't want me to have that? What I had no more. That's what I know. Hold yeah. on. So this this is the thing. Be in there. A part of me would be like, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Like, go, go ahead. But this is the thing that people don't know about um, Truth April, who, whatever y'all call her. Like, the thing is, she can, the people think she's like this sweet, quiet girl, whatever the case is. But that other side, baby, of that Aries, it's, it's another side. So, it's a switch. <laughs> Yeah, and actually, you're talking about me, 0 to 100. Your switch can happen like that. But anyways, um, it's another side to her where it's like, I I could play dirty and talk to people, but I don't have to hit below the belt. I feel like you, if you get mad, you hit below the belt. So sometimes, you know what? Nah, I just came to a revelation. I think that's why sometimes I try to take over. Because I could do, like, you know what I'm saying? The jugular, and I'm yeah. talking about like that yeah i do yeah i think that's why sometimes i have but i give them so many chances i take a lot of pit, pit stops like that's how i be mm -hmm. it literally most of the time and then sometimes when i'll be going off you be like well, why'd you like flip so quick and i'll be like no this keeps happening like this happened two years ago <laughs> this happened price. 19 months ago this happened 18 months ago like it kept happening like and then now you're doing it twice in one day and i ain't had time to calculate how to let that go yet it's still yeah. fresh. Like, yeah. yeah, I'm going for the gusto. So, what, what did Jasmine Sullivan say? If there's no war, I want the gold. <laughs> I want the gold. Is that what she said? Yeah. If okay, I'll no take your word for it. I want the gold. And, and I don't, don't just want you. What you been singing? Uh, you know the song. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> so I think if it was a couple of years ago, right? Mm -hmm. I probably would not have even really i'm not gonna say talk back because i don't think standing up for yourself when people are saying crazy things to you regardless of their age is talking back to them right but if it was like a few years ago i don't think that i would have said something loudly that's right that, that sounds right yes yeah. it's very true see you live you grow you do better mm -hmm. but I wouldn't have said anything because again, I grew up in that typical black household. You don't do that, right? But in doing that, I've realized one, now I've allowed other elders possibly to disrespect me. And then not only elders sometimes too, like then you allow people even your age to yeah. do it, right? Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it's a domino effect. Mm -hmm. But now 
I'm like, no, no, no. You, you can't just continue to say whatever you want to say to me because at the end of the day, it hurts you internally, right? Mm -hmm. That person feeling good. You know what I'm saying? Because they mm -hmm. done said and did whatever they wanted to do. Yeah. And then you go home. If it's a crime moment, you got to cry. Or you're talking to your significant other or your sibling about it. Like, it shouldn't be that way. And I'm saying what I should have said to that person in that moment. Yeah. Right? So now I'm suffering in silence. And I've been working on that. Hello, somebody. So, with that being said, if it was to happen today, no, go ahead. I feel like you're working up to that point. So when you said like back then, like two years ago, like I wouldn't have. Yeah. Because I've been feeling like, I'm like, hey, did you say such and such? Like, did you tell them this? And you'd be like, no, because I was in the moment, but I was going back out. Yeah, I, I do. I do say that. Oh, I'm going to use that next time. Mm -hmm. And I'll be like, but a couple years ago, she'll be like, no, I'm going to just let it. I'm going to yeah. just let it go. So yeah, I, I see the growth. See? Because I'll be, boy, I'll be 38 hot. Yeah. When she used to get, it, like, so upset at me, too. So upset. Like, why you like, say that? The little, what they call the kettles? I'm about to, yeah. I'm about to whistle. Because, uh, I don't like that. Like, I don't like people that I, uh, I was going to say, like, I F with. <laughs> people that, like, are in my life that I really care about because, I obviously, I have a, a little amount of people. Like, I don't <laughs> like a lot of people. I don't have a lot of social acceptance for people. Um, yeah, don't say you don't like a lot of people. It's not that. Man, I be trying to have friends sometimes. Like, if I feel like I'm just being too much of an introvert, I try and it just never goes. It always goes left. So I just rather just probably not even hang out with people no more. Well, I'm trying to get my mama down here. Like, maybe my nephew we just went on a date he was pretty cool he didn't talk a lot oh my gosh he's he's a fun day and he was cheap he went to five below uh what was he talking about he had a ball in five below i tried to take him literally try to take him to every kid's store in that mall he almost went into one with a train but i said this looks like it's past my budget so i steered him in the other okay. direction um took him to build a bear he did not like that he was not feeling it at all. Ain't that crazy though? Yeah. I didn't even know what to do with myself after that. I, <laughs> I thought we was gonna have I that was gonna kill some time. He had he was having fun in Dave and Buster though. That's what's up. Yeah, but it wasn't a That's lot of games like. for him. So Chuck E. Cheese next time. It's amazing though, like the things that kids like, what we think they're gonna like. Yeah. It's always like a simple thing. Like yeah. literally. I, he would have had a ball in a box. I could have just bought a box, sat him in there. It's so he true. Would have rolled the cards so on the true. side of the box. Like he would have had a time of his yep. life. You could have brought him a blanket and he would have figured out oh, some child, way yeah, to like have fun. He's oh, in that man, stage right yeah. now where he wants to hide under a blanket. I don't really know. Yep. You give him a goldfish, he's going to put in his belly button. He's going to have the time yep. of his mm -hmm. life. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. He, is he still in the tuck and stuff up his shirt? Yes. Page? Okay. He is. So, yeah, he Very still much puts so. stuff in his, uh, in his shirt. I guess he calls himself trying to hide it. Yeah. Right, we're gonna have to bring my sister on the podcast really so she can talk about her child because he never takes his hand off. It. Well, sometimes <laughs> he takes his hand he, off. He it. thinks sometimes he's hiding it. Yeah, but anyway, back on the subject, <laughs> like when somebody is like affecting the person mood who I care about, like that, just there's no need for a pit stop. Then, like yeah. that, that just kick that in the high drive. <laughs> what yeah. are we doing? That's true. So That's true. I think when I actually like, whenever we uh, start or go through a process of like adopting or anything like that, I think like then that's gonna be my little buddy. Who's gonna be your buddy? The kid. Oh. Oh, you won't have a friend. Child. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you been doing You guys have me so confused. I'm like, hey, I'm like drop her off at <laughs> like did she know where she is? I thought she was at home. I actually made that piss. <laughs> I forgot to tell me who was still going. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway. <laughs> Hold on. I do have a question, though. Because have you always been that way, though? What? Like, if someone disrespects you or disrespects somebody that you love, will you automatically speak up regardless of the age? Um, I think it couldn't happen at some points because I was told to stay in child's place. So or it's kind of the same. Kind of held back from trying to from seeing stuff or hearing stuff that was going on. Yeah. yeah. So, right. But it wasn't like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I was kind of always sheltered. Like, I can hear it going on. Okay. So, they're like, oh, just go to that room. 
Like, just go play in that room. So I can still hear what's going on. I can hear somebody being attacked that I love. But what can I do? I'm a kid. So, like, it was like, now, then when they come back and they tell me the story of what happened, because mm -hmm. I don't know what's all going on. Then I hear one side mm -hmm. of that story, and I'm like, oh, I wish I was there. Like, I don't like people treating people bad, because there's a lot of people who I went to school with or who I grew up around, like, going through, like, domestic drama with the parents and being molested and all that stuff and you hear the stories but it's and it's like like i don't know if you ever see this or you ever feel this way but like if i see a video of somebody getting jumped i hate that i can't go do anything like to those people like i can't that i, I hate that i'm not there for that person that's getting jumped so yeah. i can so i can jump in like yeah. why are y'all just standing there like somebody jump in yeah i hate seeing that those videos make me very yeah, i i upset. hate seeing that so like very that's upset. just kind of how it always been i feel like that just brings up turmoil or something that i couldn't do like i wasn't there to do it but okay. i could see it going on i can hear it but i wasn't able to I guess say anything or protect them or try to protect the person who I really care about. You know what I mean? Okay, I like that. So then I'm assuming, and correct me if I'm wrong. So once you started getting older, right, mm -hmm. and was able to have a voice, my mama took it. My mama took that voice, and I don't mean in a bad way. My mom was the zero to eight hundred queen. Like forget sixty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my mama took it over. You couldn't do nothing to her babies. Like, look at me sideways. Like, make my mama think you looking at me sideways. Yeah, I mean, look at that. My family like that. Like, my, like, yeah, it's on her eye. Like, everybody else saw it. Why you didn't see it? You know what I mean? I cannot. Like, my mom, my mom's a Leo. Yeah. She don't play about y'all. Yeah. That's so, true. That, that she took my voice and then, like, dropping me off to have my own voice, as I feel like she was doing, it kind of came out of nowhere. It was just like, you just basically don't have to fight your own battles. Now, I don't know when the part came. Cause there was like seasons. I feel like it came like probably when I hit 18, like when I needed to grow up. Cause I was childish for a long time. Like I was mentally mature, but the stuff, some of the stuff I did or stuff I said was just childish. Okay. So okay. now I'm 18, I need to have my own voice and I ain't had my voice for 18 years. So now a lot of stuff I'm letting people walk over me with because I don't want to have that confrontation because I've never had that confrontation. Yep. And then I think the military is what set me off like, oh yeah, I'm about to hear, y'all about to hear my mouth. Like, I'm not about to keep silent. Like, you're not about to keep yelling in my face. Yeah. Cause I've never had to have anybody do that, but I just never had the voice to tell them that they couldn't do it. You see what I'm so saying? So the military helped you find yeah. your voice. I mean, I'm assuming so. All right. Cause right. I feel like that's when I picked up, like that's when I did not care. I mean, there was a couple of times, instances where I did not care. But it's um, gonna be times that that happens anyways. Yeah, that I like, have my own back like my own back with my fist like i hit you we can fight it out but me telling you my comfort levels or what you shouldn't disrespect like i don't know i couldn't voice that but that's good though i felt i feel as though you found yours quicker than me mm -hmm. in certain situations because again yeah. i feel like sometimes with like friends or people my age it was easy mm -hmm. right um even at work okay <laughs> it was easy <laughs> But for any family or close knit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That was harder for me. Yeah. That was harder. But I like that though. I like that I found that I'm finding that I'm getting better at it. And that you've noticed it too. That's such a win for the week. Voice. I don't know. And that you noticed it too. <laughs> that was my soft voice, soft life. <laughs> <laughs> that's really dope that's dope okay so you know what mm -hmm. we got so far into it and we were like uh, we weren't really off track but we really had a good conversation about that so um i wanted to um say something about that ross and sonia situation yeah no i, I was going back to that good yeah job. Okay. because i actually i didn't see that episode but the end episode that i did see of somebody either defending their wife or like stepping up to a situation amongst the girls is on um what is it called married to medicine oh yes with that's, dr that's my, damon that's show, dr that's damon is my spirit and i really want to be like him with my anger like i feel like i need to take some zen classes or something but i really want to be up there because his articulation through his anger is so like oh, i want him as a dad he's like the fucking, i would yeah. i would actually appreciate that if 
if you took some of that from him. But you finish telling Child, us. You, if you want to go on this spiritual journey with me, you can. <laughs> I can buy you a ticket. <laughs> okay? Because <laughs> what you're not going to do is try to play me. Um, he set up a situation amongst the wives. Um, I don't remember what the conversation was that he was speaking on before. But then, because... This isn't anybody attacking her at this point. At the dinner table, right? Yeah. Okay. At this yes. point, they were not attacking her. Okay. Oh, Contessa, shut up sometimes. Like, I just want to get out of it. I just want to put that on the table. Just shut up sometimes. <laughs> that Contessa, y'all. Because I'd be like, oh, she got on my nerves. She's so dramatic. Like, before it. But I, the thing is, I love Contessa. Like, I'd be like, oh, child, you slant. Or, like, I just love her as a person. But it's just sometimes, just shut up. Yeah. She's got a lot going on. Like, she's smart. I love black women that's doing something with themselves, and the fact that she keeps trying to further her uh, opportunity within the, the medical field, like, I think that's really dope. So I love her her hustle. Go go back to it, though, because I want you to hit on the point. Um, okay, so they were, I don't, but I don't know if it goes. Okay, so he was speaking about the situation amongst the wives. They were having an altercation or whatever. They weren't getting along. Actually, they had, I guess, tried to fix it, but I don't yes. know if he was informed. Um, they so were still they, acting a fool. Yeah, so he said he don't like what's going on between them. Him, his wife, let's just say his wife and the other girl, he didn't like what was going on between mm -hmm. them. He was like, I don't like the bullshit that's going on between them. Oh, stop, sorry. And then, and she was like, it's not BS. The friend, it's not BS. And I'm just like, damn, let, let him have that moment. Because he's like the only reasonable, like this dude has never been hot tempered on the show. He's yeah. the only voice of reason. And they say that all the time. Yeah. Just kind of let him say anything. But he was like, um, no, let me just talk. Let me just finish. And he's trying to finish. And she keeps, like, saying, like, little jazz about his wife every time he says yes. something. Now, usually his wife will go off. Like, you ain't had to say it the first time. But you're not. You're definitely not going to disrespect her man. A period. Not daddy. You ain't disrespecting daddy. You ain't disrespect anybody at the table. But not daddy. All right. So, that Wait, what, which one am I talking about then? Heavenly or? So, Damn. I actually, I was following, right? Mm -hmm. Because that's. It's still a good example because in that moment, he didn't like what the wife was doing or what the friend was doing. Mm -hmm. But his way of trying to help it was him getting into the discussion. Discussion, excuse me. Right. So he did hop into the female drama. Now, first off, I've never seen anybody kind of check their wife so respectfully That's in the get midst That's of get an on. argument. Yes. I'm like, dang. Okay. So I was going to say the same way that, you know, your significant other uh, defends you, right, to other people when they acting crazy or saying something in front of them, they still should be able to check you if you acting crazy in front of them as well, right? Now, I'm not saying check me how you would if we was in the house or car, right? Yeah. Because that's, that's a different type of With check. With a check, you cannot embarrass because if you're embarrassed during an attack... There you go. Oh, that was good. If you embarrassed during the attack, you about to get it. Yeah. That's why when people laugh at jokes, like the audience of the family jokes, if that person on the side laugh a little bit too hard, that's why they're the next target. Yeah. You that embarrass me. First off, you're laughing, you're laughing too hard. Like, why are you... And you laughing. Yeah. That, I, I hate laughing. I like that. I like that. That was good. That was, but that's that true was though. Off the top of the But dome. what you were saying was how he, you know, still showed respect to her. Yeah. Even when the wife was acting crazy, he told her, you know, calm down. I don't like how you're doing this. I know you think it's what you should be doing. See, that that's that's what I like. Because yeah. he didn't dismiss how she felt or what she was doing in that moment, right? But he gent gently, come on, soft life, corrected her. I'm gonna start bringing that tone whenever it's time to bring that tone in here. Okay? Y'all was definitely giving like phone operator. <laughs> Press two. <laughs> Y'all gonna get this tone today. So soft life, right? He he gave that to her, but and I immediately um, had turned to April and I'm like, I like that. Like, yeah, I, said, I didn't I have a problem really with like that. that. Like we kind of said that at the same time. Yeah, I, like, I actually that that was. He said something there. Yeah. And, and I was like, I literally feel like if that was to happen to me, I could respect it. Right? Because of how it was done. And even when he felt like she wasn't respecting him still by, you know, going back and forth with the female, he got his behind up and said it was time to go. And I was cool well, with that. Well, he also said that she was, he felt like she was disrespecting him like he's going. Oh, you want to, you, you want yeah. to remind me of that part? 
Oh, the audience you wanted to tell yeah, the I that part. Swing back around. Okay, so that is true. Anybody we lost, like in the military <laughs> where we ran in, and people fall in the back of the formation. Well, say it again. Say, say it again for the people um, in the back, though. Like louder? Yeah, just, I want you to repeat oh, it. Oh, he also said. He gave soft life. You're, you're disrespecting me in this moment. Now, I don't know if that's how it came off, but that's kind of what no, he said. That's what he said. Yeah, that's he what he said. Like, yeah. And he didn't really appreciate it. So, yeah. you know, that's all he said. He gave her that one strike. I'm, a, I'm assuming David don't have two strikes. Okay. That's <laughs> you know, what I'm I, I ain't really got. Because yeah. he said, you ain't going to get me upset in front of all these people looking yeah. crazy. So, he, he said, being, being mad drains him. I loved it. Sorry, y'all. One second. Um, it's our Alexa. Oh, it's your timer. Yeah. You can turn it off. I was trying not to say the name because I didn't want to set nobody's off. Oh, my bad. Um, so, yeah, that happened. But um, in that moment, too, <clears throat> y'all, this is, I don't care what nobody says. Sometimes reality TV shows, they could be like your counseling session, okay? But I had told April in that moment, I was like, I never actually looked at it as being um, disrespectful to someone when they tell you to stop something. Because remember, sometimes when you're in the moment and you heat it, Right, you're not thinking about that, but or like when they tell you to be quiet on the subject in front of everybody, right? So I never thought about it being disrespectful, mainly because probably it was more like I'm just finish this, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna finish this sentence and then I'll deal with you like, oh, oh what, you know? But I never saw it that way. But when he said it, I was like, dang. And yeah, there's a reason why our sister call us a uh, loving hip hop of DC. Why'd she call us that? Hi! <laughs> 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 Yank her up like feet swinging she, in the streets of DC because she was. She was not giving me soft life, okay? No. She was not giving me soft life a couple. She, no. I was about to say a couple years ago. She's still working on herself. But. <laughs> he ain't done with me. Yet. She was not giving soft life. <laughs> and I mean, shoot. I wasn't even. I wasn't going down without a fight. <laughs> Drunk and all, I don't care. You sober, down. yeah, I did. Bitch. It don't matter. <laughs> I was not going down without a fight. Okay, so I'm like, what? What is that? What is that? Tawana came out. Sometimes I get, you know, Monique, Timo, all those other ones, all those other uh, accents that live inside her head. No, I'm but I'm doing soft life now. That day, that day he was given. It was Tiwani. <laughs> no, Tiwani soft life. <laughs> no. To want a soft life. It's the new me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We appreciate y'all for stopping by. Yes, I um, had fun. I did too. It was actually a pretty decent um, combination. I can't really say a subject because we, we spent a lot of time off. Listen, we, we gave some the good subject. information, some yeah. good advice, period. So this was a good <laughs> one. This was. All right, y'all. So thank you for joining us. Until next time. Hey, come back. Yeah. Come back. Yes. Because we got way more to give y'all. And make sure y'all tell a friend to tell a friend. To tell a friend. To, to listen to friend. us, okay? Yeah. And for all the YouTubers, make sure y'all like and subscribe. <laughs> Why don't we try this? Why? I don't know. Why do we okay, y'all. We are done tonight. Thank you again for joining our interpretation. Until next time, y'all have a blessed week. Peace.